Dating apps and dating shows are not just restricted to normal people like me and you. They are for celebrities too, because if you can get people to come to Clubhouse and just talk about nothing for hours amongst themselves, you damn sure can get a celebrity to come to a dating show online to try to find some booty clapping sounds. That's right. And one of the more popular black, you know, internet dating shows is what's going on with Kendra G's YouTube channel. Now she does it on Instagram, YouTube, and Facebook. And from what I understand, she'll be on TikTok. But there was a particular comedian on there by the name of Ryan Davis. And most of you may know who Mr. Ryan Davis is. He is a somewhat of a Kevin Samuels hater, but we'll leave that for another video. And Mr. Ryan Davis was on there uh, looking for, um, you know, somebody to date or somebody to hang out with. Now, it does sound like um, it doesn't make much sense because you would feel like he would have a lot of opportunities being, you know, a popular comedian. He's been on Insecure and things like that. But maybe he was still looking for somebody to uh, to hook up with. Uh, unfortunately for him, there was a woman that reached out to him and then they met up. And this is what the young lady had to say. I'm here to give you an update. Oh, you was here before? No. But I went on a date with somebody that was here. Oh, what was the person that was here? <laughs> What's his name? It's the celebrities. I don't want to say the name. You gotta say the name. You can't give us half the story. I want to tell you the story, but I don't want to say the name. It was this. It was one of the celebrities that you had. One? I had a few celebrities on my show, girl. You call me. I don't know. You I know. Half. You 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 I, sat in queue to be on the show. Don't try to act like you don't want to give us a tea now. No, I want to. I want to give you the tea. I do want to give you the tea, but damn, you want the name. <laughs> Uh, it was, damn, I don't know if I want to say his name. Give me the details and then maybe I can just figure it out. So what's the situation? <laughs> okay. So it was just like, he was giving, okay, so we was talking for a couple months and then he came out here where, to visit. Okay, where do you live, Ashley? I live in Vegas. Okay. And, and how did you meet the celebrity? You DM'd him? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so Ryan Davis, shout to com comedian Ryan Davis, who's been on the show. Ryan is saying right now it's not him. Huh? Ryan Davis said it's not him. He was he's a celebrity guy that's been on my show. Oh yeah, it was him. Yeah, it was him. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, Ryan, you just told yeah. me it wasn't you. No, I want to give you. I want to <laughs> let you know. First of all, if you don't know, Ryan is a very successful, funny comedian. You probably saw him. I saw you on Insecure. So you're successful. Why do you think you're single, Ryan? Uh, I was focused. I was focused on my career. You know, you don't, uh, you don't get successful by accident. He, he was giving, he was giving cocky. Like, I just, I don't know. It was cool at first. Everything was cool. We had a, we had a good time, but like, he, it was red flags. Like, he was, <laughs> well, what were the, okay, okay. What were the red flags? First, like, okay, all right. You know, guys just seem like they want one thing, but he was like, he was trying to eat it like a mango. <laughs> he was you trying to not do, huh? Yeah, had sex? No, no, no. He was trying to. He was trying to. So why he said he was trying to eat it like a mango. Y'all didn't even have sex. Wanted to. Okay. Yeah. And he was trying to, and he didn't want to use a, a condom. I'm going to say, like. <laughs> so let me ask you this. Before we go further, what is your goal in telling us this story? I just want to let people know that these celebrities are not what you think they are. They're cocky. they they think everybody wants them, and it's not like that. Like, uh, yeah, like, no. They but what, what pause? You reached out to him. Because you saw how he was on your show. Yes. I thought he, I thought he was a good guy. I'm not going to say he's a bad guy. He, he is a good guy. But it's just, like. Well, I'm confused. 
confused. Okay, so why did it even? Well, okay, let me ask you this before I go any further. What responsibility do you take in this exchange? What do you mean? Because you're saying all the bad things about him. I didn't all these things. say, uh, uh, look, I wasn't, I wasn't saying nothing bad, but the fact that he even hopped on here and responded, and I didn't even want to say the man's name. Well, like, hold on. You brought, first of all, you brought this energy to us. So whether he tried to... I just to was trying to give you an update. Okay. That's it. Yeah, that's fine. You give me an update. And that's fine. I don't mind the updates. I don't mind the updates. And I like to hear the updates. But one thing I will say, only the women call me to give me the updates. The men don't ever call me back to give me updates. <laughs> so I guess what you're saying, so I guess what I'm asking is, because I'm confused. You said you guys didn't have sex, but I guess he tried to have... I'm so confused. Yeah. He tried. Okay. So did y'all go out on a date? Yeah, so... um. We went, I, I went out, went out with him and his friends. It was to a club. Okay. And then, like, we had a good time at the club, and then we went back to his room. So what time was that? Mm -hmm. I don't know, maybe around, maybe one. Okay, so listen, first things first, women, you are never obligated to do anything, so I'm not trying to paint that picture. Yeah, but I like I... Say this. I don't think you should go to nobody's hotel room at one a.m. No, well, no, I had we didn't we didn't meet up to like I'm just, maybe I think eleven at night. That's so fine, was, but after the club, there's no need to go to a hotel room. Now I want to be very clear: you still are not obligated to ever do anything. You have the right as a woman to always say I'm not down for this. But I also think don't set yourself up in that position either. So never go to a guy you just met hotel's room at 1 a.m. if you're not on that because that can be confusing. Now, again, I'm going to say this 10 times. You don't have to do nothing ever. You have the right as a woman at all times. But don't set yourself up in those situations either. Yeah. I don't think you should go to anybody's hotel room at 1 a.m. that you just met if you're not on that energy. Oh, boy. That's a lot to unpack here, right? But now let's kind of break that down. Number one, um, the young lady in question it, it is messy as hell. I believe that she's upset that the situation didn't turn out to what it was. And, you know, when he was in Las Vegas, he was trying to go head on and, uh, booty clapper sounds. He was trying to eat it like a peach. He wasn't trying to use no condom. She said they didn't have sex, but it's kind of hard to believe that they didn't have sex and he wasn't trying to use no condom. So how did you even get to that point? if he wasn't trying to have sex or if you didn't have sex. But the reality is, is that, you know, you went up to his room at, you know, one or two o'clock in the morning. And obviously, what did you expect? Did you expect the dude to break out the Bible and start like reading Genesis and Exodus and Deuteronomy? What did you expect? Y'all to start naming all the minor prophets in the Old Testament? Of course, he's trying to smash. And what you didn't realize is like, he's not looking for nothing serious or you ain't nobody to be taken serious okay and again you're over here trying to expose him and again and i like the fact that he didn't come up there you know trying to go back and forth with that young lady and all that stuff because you know it already made himself look bad um look worse than he already is but the reality is is kendra was telling her the right thing look you what's the point of you even coming on here saying that now to her her defense she wasn't trying to say the person's name all right but she was trying to give hints to who it was because she would have never came on there. And the reality is you reached out to him. You're saying that he's arrogant. I mean, he is a celebrity and it's kind of, you know, it's the, it's, it's kind of a really thing. It's a real thing that we need to understand. If you're a woman that is a normal lady and you don't earn a lot of money and you're not in a specific socioeconomic bracket and you're trying to reach out to a man who is possibly a millionaire you guys live two different lifestyles he's not going to cater to you just like you as a rich woman wouldn't cater to an average man if you were in your prime it just it's something that you just wouldn't do all right so you expected that you were reaching out to him and he was going to you know pretty much accommodate you because you felt that he was a nice person and he was arrogant well he is ryan davis okay and he has a lot going for him so off the rip, once he found out that you were not really on his level, 
you know, because you hear a lot of sisters saying about brothers. Yeah, he was trying to go ahead on and, you know, run through you real quick. And that was all, was all all she wrote. So you came on there mad about that and you wanted to make a scene. Now, let me talk to um, to, cer to certain black men about this. This is very important. A lot of you brothers, as you're coming up, um, you know, on your progression path to wherever you're going to be, you're going to have the hardest part of really matriculating up the corporate path or the uh, success path is that whole little rule about, yeah, she doesn't need to be rich to deal with you if you're rich. Um, but the, the downside is, is that when you're dealing with somebody who's not in your social economic status, they don't understand what it takes for, for them to be there. And you're gonna have to go through things like this. There is no no way, if she would have never reached out on Instagram, he would even talk to her, all right? And I think that's probably the best thing. A lot of guys need to deal with women where they're at, and when you're dealing with women who are not in your socioeconomic class, when you have a lot of money or a lot of fame, you have something to lose. You know, you, you tend to have a lot to lose dealing with women like this. And it's always going to turn bad because they don't have nothing to lose. And all you're trying to gain from them is maybe something that's short term in the bedroom. And it's not worth it. It's really not. So you getting whatever you think you can get from them. It's not worth it, especially when they can come out and they can, you know, try to play you like she did. Now they may be they may be playing themselves in the process, but you could be hurting yourself for things in the future. And um, I hope he learns from that. And you know, you don't try to just get it. Everybody, everybody don't need your phone number, and you don't need to be hanging out with all the chicks like that because it's not necessarily um, the case. Especially if you know, like, it's not gonna go nowhere. You know, especially if you have a lot to lose, it doesn't make much sense. But you live and you learn, right? But guys, what do you think? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. I appreciate you for all that you do. Subscribe to the bell. We're out. Yeah, yeah.